Hello, welcome to Zoho Sales IQ. This video will tell you all about form controllers in Zoho Sales IQ. A form controller is triggered either upon the form submission or on adding or updating an input in a form field. When a user adds or updates an input value in a form field or clicks the submit or cancel button in the form, the form function associated with this function is triggered to execute the intended action. Forms can be used as a part of a widget's action response to collect data from your operator and push the data to any application. Forms in Sales IQ support dynamic input field updating when the operator is interacting with the form, support searching through a list from the database, and dynamically show them in the fields drop down based on the search keyword. Form submission, dynamic field updating, and dynamic options are controlled by the form controller module. To create them using Sales IQ scripts, navigate to Settings, Developers, Form Controllers, give your form controller a name, provide a description if required. There are two options available with respect to creating form controllers. You can either use Sales IQ scripts or webhooks and choose the platform Sales IQ scripts and click Create Form Controller. The builder opens up. There are three handlers where you can write the code to configure your form controllers. The submit handler is triggered on the form submission. If the form's on change handler is configured, the submit handler is triggered once the on change handler is executed successfully. The dynamic field change handler is triggered for the input field of type dynamic select. The handler auto-populates the drop-down menu items for the field based on the user's search query. The change handler is triggered for an update made in any form field containing the boolean trigger on change as true. The change handler can be used to either add or remove fields in the form depending on the input made for a certain field. Inside the builder, you have a bunch of drag and drop elements that you can use in the code. Then you have connections. Connections are interfaces used to integrate third-party services with your Zoho service, in this case Zoho Sales IQ. You can either create connections with a list of third-party services pre-registered with Zoho Sales IQ or create a custom connection. Once all configurations are set, you can publish your form controller. You can also preview how the form will work inside the preview window itself. To edit the code for any previously created form controller, you can choose the respective form controller and click on the edit code button and make all the changes. You can also click on configure profile to make changes to the basic configurations. To create a form controller using webhooks, you need to choose the webhooks platform in the basic configuration section. Click create form controller and in the edit URL section, Enter the URL that has to be invoked, click on Save and then click on Publish. Once the form controller is created, you will be able to see the form in the live chat window. Here, we have a form that will let users upgrade or downgrade their membership. You can check the working of the form by entering all of the necessary details and clicking on Submit. Thank you.